Toyota, known for its pioneering role in automotive technology, including hybrid vehicles like the Prius, has joined forces with Chinese state-owned manufacturer GAC Group to create a groundbreaking innovation. Together, they have developed the world's first ammonia-powered engine for passenger vehicles. This development marks a major milestone, especially considering Toyota's previous skepticism about an all-electric future. Join us as we explore Toyota's new ammonia engine and how it will end electric vehicles, EVs. On October 4th, 2023, LGES made a $3 billion investment in Michigan to establish new production lines for battery cells and modules. The completion of this massive project is scheduled for 2025. However, experts are of the opinion that this investment might go to waste because of the groundbreaking collaboration between Toyota and GAC Group. This collaboration has the potential to disrupt the electric vehicle market. Before delving into Toyota's remarkable engine, it's crucial to understand how an ammonia engine exactly works and why it is so important. The groundbreaking ammonia engines actively make use of ammonia as their primary fuel source, making them a promising solution for pollution mitigation. Ammonia, composed of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms, stands out due to its lack of carbon atoms, resulting in no carbon dioxide emissions during combustion. This makes ammonia engines an eco-friendly alternative to traditional oil or gas-fueled engines. To ensure the effective operation of ammonia engines, researchers have explored various approaches. One approach involves breaking down ammonia into its fundamental components, hydrogen and nitrogen. The extracted hydrogen is then used as a fuel source in a fuel cell to generate electricity. A startup called Emoji has notably demonstrated this technique by powering a John Deere tractor, establishing it as the world's first ammonia-powered, zero-emissions tractor. This approach represents a giant step towards sustainable and clean energy solutions. Keep watching to find out how this will take out electric vehicles, EVs, from the market. Another fascinating approach is the blending of ammonia with other fuels such as diesel, gas, or hydrogen before ignition. This blending simplifies the ignition process and effectively sustains combustion. Additionally, there is another fascinating approach that involves using ammonia as the primary fuel source. However, this approach requires advanced technologies such as spark ignition, compression ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition. Although further research and development are necessary, this method holds significant potential for reducing pollution and advancing sustainable energy. Ammonia engines have a standout feature, high energy density. Energy density refers to the substantial amount of energy that can be contained within a given volume of ammonia. This attribute is crucial for efficient energy storage and transportation, making ammonia engines exceptionally well suited for sectors like transportation and power generation, where effective energy storage and utilization are vital. Furthermore, another compelling advantage of ammonia engines arises from the widespread availability of ammonia. It can be produced from various elements, particularly hydrogen and nitrogen, which are abundant constituents in the Earth's atmosphere. This accessibility emphasizes the viability of ammonia engines as a sustainable energy solution. With readily available resources, we can not only reduce carbon emissions but also develop more resilient and flexible energy solutions. Interestingly, ammonia has played crucial roles in various industrial settings throughout history. Its utilization in refrigeration during the 19th century revolutionized food preservation and storage. In World War I, it became a vital component in the production of explosives. The mid-20th century witnessed ammonia driving the growth of the chemical industry, enabling the manufacturing of synthetic fibers and plastics. In the field of agriculture, ammonia-based fertilizers sparked a global revolution in food production. Ammonia continues to be indispensable across industries like cleaning products and pharmaceuticals. Toyota's CEO, Koji Sato, envisions a groundbreaking future for ammonia in car engines with low CO2 emissions, which would potentially lead to the end of electric vehicles, EVs. What drives the interest in developing car engines? With low CO2 emissions? Carbon dioxide, often referred to as CO2, is a significant player in our planet's delicate environmental balance. It's a naturally occurring molecule and it plays a crucial role in Earth's atmosphere. But when it comes to car emissions, CO2 takes on a more complex role. You see, CO2 is a double-edged sword. 
This additional CO2 contributes to a phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. The consequences are far-reaching and impact our environment in various ways. Rising global temperatures can cause ice caps to melt, leading to sea level rise, which in turn can result in coastal flooding and the displacement of communities. Climate change, driven by increased CO2 levels, also disrupts ecosystems, affecting the distribution and behavior of species. Furthermore, extreme weather events, like hurricanes, droughts, and wildfires, can become more frequent and severe. So, how does this all relate to car emissions? Well, it's because when you drive your car, the internal combustion engine burns gasoline or diesel fuel, releasing carbon dioxide into the air as a byproduct. The more you drive, the more CO2 your car emits. It's this collective release of CO2 from millions of cars around the world that significantly contributes to the excess CO2 in the atmosphere and the associated environmental challenges. Car manufacturers are increasingly developing and producing vehicles with lower emissions, including electric cars that produce zero tailpipe emissions. Shifting to public transportation, carpooling, or simply reducing our driving habits can also help. Moreover, Investing in renewable energy sources and improving the efficiency of our cars can further reduce the carbon footprint of the automotive industry. Let's look at the ammonia-powered car engines currently available today. In the pursuit of more environmentally friendly transportation solutions, numerous projects have been initiated to explore the potential of green ammonia as a fuel source for vehicles. One prevalent approach in these projects involves the process of cracking ammonia into hydrogen, releasing nitrogen into the air, and using fuel cells to generate electric power. However, some innovative projects are taking a different route, focusing on modified combustion engines that can efficiently burn liquid ammonia. One notable development in this field comes from the Guangzhou Automotive Group Company, GAC, which recently announced the successful creation of a 2.0-liter engine designed to safely and efficiently utilize liquid ammonia as a fuel source. According to Bloomberg reports, GAC claims that this engine boasts a peak power output of 120 kilowatts, equivalent to 161 horsepower, while significantly reducing carbon emissions by up to 90% when compared to conventional fossil fuels. They developed and tested a vehicle called AMV, which ran on a mixture of 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline. The AMV not only reduced carbon emissions by approximately 70%, but also laid the foundation for the concept of a fully ammonia-fueled engine. This early work in the field paved the way for further advancements and the development of GAC's groundbreaking engine. However, using ammonia as a sole fuel source in combustion engines may present some challenges, such as the production of carbon dioxide.